to bring attention to the victims of the tragedy. The first one we know is a 34-year-old Chinese tourist. The second one is a Myanmar national who was at the mall to deposit some money to send back home. And the third victim is a Thai national. Now, not a lot has been found about this Thai national. I actually cannot find anything, any details or any resources on the third victim at all. Now, this could mean that authorities were unable to identify um, the body yet, and perhaps nobody showed up. No family members or no relatives showed up at the hospital to help ID the body. So um, that is still, we're still in the dark regarding the third victim. First victim reported by the Thai media is Zhao Jinan, a 34-year-old tourist from China. She's a mom of twin girls. During the chaotic scene, a Thai shopper came across two girls, Chinese twins, who was asking her for help because they couldn't find their mom. And this is what she wrote and it was widely shared on SM. She said that two Chinese girls came up to her to ask for her help, saying that their mom was hit and they could not find her. She said that she tried really hard to find a way to help and she was using her phone and her battery was at 1%, you know, using that to, you know, communicate with these two girls. So one of the girls asked whether or not their mom is gone and she had to, you know, console them saying that your mom is going to be fine. She's just injured. Just wait so when they got to the police police broke the news that their mom is gone and you know the thai lady said that you know she couldn't you know handle it she was just like crying out loud because she felt really sorry uh for these two girls why do they have like what what did they do to deserve um this outcome this is the funeral service for the one, a Myanmar national who passed away. She works for a Thai employer and her Thai employer owns a toy business. So this is the one's employer. She said that on that day, she was out of town and the one called her telling her that she wanted a day to go to the bank to transfer some money back to um, her uh, hometown back in Myanmar for her family. And she said that when news broke, uh, she of course became very concerned about um, where the one was. So she tried calling her and when it didn't get picked up, she was just very worried until um, a male voice answered telling her to you know come this is what the one's employer is going to do she is going to be pressing charges against the 14 year old boy she says she does not care whether or not he is a child a minor or not or an adult she does not care she wants to press charges against this shooter. This employer also said that she will continue to send money back to the Wan's family in Myanmar, 10,000 baht um, every month. And this of course drew a lot of support from Thai netizens. They said that they will be supporting her business, Take Toys Thailand, which sells Care Bear dolls.